trust, which leads to changes in to make India trust. Thank you, Tajani, for this beautiful performance. Now we have speech and play, Miss Nalini. Anybody, anybody can fall 
addicted to drug abuse or drug addiction, even me or our IG sir or anybody. To feel the kick, the state of euphoria and its effect. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is to feel better, to lessen your depression, anxiety, fear, stress. So these are the reasons why do people take drugs. <laughs> and there are some people who take drugs, started to take drugs from going to a party just for fun. Or somebody started by going on a trip with their friends to taste it but come back home with addiction. Nobody ever starts taking drugs with an ambition to become a drug addiction. People. And that is the reason why we are here to spread the awareness. There are so many harms to drug use. It affects in all spheres of your own life. Physical, mental, your family, occupation, money, spiritual. There are so many reasons. And there are so many harmful effects that happen in your body and in your life when you become a drug user. And that is the reason that we need to know. And how do we know? How do we suspect a person who is in drug, who is using drugs? So um, this person becomes irritable, uncooperative, violent, depressed, negative. These are the reasons or suspicion that we can know from a person who is using drugs. And the person of the physical appearances and the physical symptoms, there are physical symptoms that happens in a person's body. Example, increased sensitivity to smell, touch or taste, extra large or small pupils of the eyes, or excessive giggling, disorientation, red eyes, excessive coughing, weight loss or weight gain, several headaches. And this person becomes less responsible about doing chores, coming home on time, personal cleanliness and money. There are also so many other activities that the person may indulge in. It. Not now, maybe, but maybe later on. We all know the viral news that is happening in our state, like robbery, murders, because of all this drug. So, my most important plea today is do not even experience drug in the first place because of fun, kick, and curiosity. That is my main plea today. Do not even experience it in the first place because this drug is very, very powerful. So, so powerful. Well, why don't we live a purposeful life? There are so many things in life that we can enjoy as a youth or as our life. It's just a journey, a small journey, a short journey. Why don't we give a purpose for life? Why don't we engage in social activities? Why don't we set goals? Why don't we maintain motivation, cultivate good habits and live a meaningful life to avoid this substance abuse? We, the people, need you. The country needs you. Because we are the future, we are the harbinger of process. This is the time to act. In no time, it's going to be late. So people of Oman, why don't we come together and come as a whole? Because not a person, not a single person can fight this battle alone. We as a whole can play a role together in this. The government, the NGOs, the churches, the schools, and us as an individual. I am happy to know that there is a policy, the Northern State Drug Users and Prevention Policy, that is under amendment. I really hope that the government will implement it very soon. Also, I, when I went to Mokokchung, I was appreciating the church, how they take an initiative in those um, detoxification camps for drug users. So just like that, I just visited the Konya Baptist Church Mall, one of the largest Asia Baptist Church. So as beautiful as it looks and as beautiful as it is, why don't we uh, try to initiate a beautiful program as well, such as this.
detoxification camp and such, because church is a very primary role to play in it as well. I won't um, make my uh, speech very long, so this is what I really wanted to say. Just wanting to know that drugs can take you to hell disguised as heaven. So, why don't we start an action now? In conclusion, I would love to thank our IG again, because when we first met our IG and shared about my Beauty with a Purpose project plan, this is, he well, appreciated and was wholeheartedly committed to support our cause. So that is how we started our campaign in Koima, Dimapur, doing some Bukokchuk, and now here in finally Mon. I would also again love to thank our Colonel Santosh Rawat, Senior Medal, Commander to the Seven SM Rifles for initiating this set program here in Mon as well. I would love to thank the Cognac Union, KSU, Keniske. I am also wearing a beautiful necklace here right now, so thank you so much. And all the other debaters present here. Conclusion of this anti drug campaign in Mon has a great significance with the presence of our IG in our midst. So people of Mon, let's lead the way together. We all have a torch burning inside us. So why don't we shine that, the, shine that light? Let's be the torch barrier for the world. Shout out to the world about drug-free nagling. Let's stop. Say no to drugs. Let's say no to drugs. Spread the way and save life. Thank you. Okay, um, I would also love to thank my collaborating team, the Kripa Foundation and Social Welfare Department, Sir Wamo. Desmond, please share your feet. Thank you, please be seated. 